Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. Today I'm going to talk about using the Z offset wizard along with baby stepping to help get your Z offset set correctly. I did a video a while back covering how to set it if you're not using the newer feature which is the Z offset wizard or the equivalent that comes with uh, your TFT35 or just your TFT machines in general. I wanted to make this video because um, based on a lot of the feedback I've gotten, it seems like setting the Z offset correctly is one of the most challenging things to get right with installing the BL Touch. So I figured this video made a lot of sense because if you're using the Marlin firmware or a TFT, it provides a lot of benefits and is well worth using. That said, it does have to be enabled in the firmware. So the default Creality firmware or the pre-compiled Creality firmware does not have it enabled at this point. Uh, it's hard to say what they'll do in the future. I'm assuming at some point they'll go ahead and enable it. Uh, but currently it is not. So you have to use uh, Marlin, uh, more specifically the bug fix line. But I'm going to walk you through all of that and then I'm going to show you what it looks like on um, both types of setups here. So I've got my TFT35 on this printer and then I just have the stock Ender 3 Pro um, with the BL Touch here and with the Marlin firmware. So I'm going to show you how to do it with that interface as well because it is different. Uh, but the end result is pretty much the same. If you have any questions about the process or run into issues, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll try to help out. Also, you can join our Discord server as well. I'll link to that in the description below. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks. All right, guys, so I wanted to go through the process on the standard Ender 3 Pro first. Uh, this is a Creality 4.2.2 32-bit uh, board uh, with the Marlin firmware on it. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and go into configuration and um, restore defaults. So doing this is going to erase my current Z offset value and also uh, any of the E steps or anything I had calibrated. Alright, so now that that's done, I just want to make sure the Z offset is set to zero. Uh, we want to go ahead and heat up everything first before moving forward. So I'm just going to go up to temperature and bed, bump that up to where I typically plant, which is about 60. And then I'll bump the nozzle to about 190. Uh, main purpose here is just to get everything up to temperature before we try to set our Z offsets, though we will be using the baby stepping afterwards uh, just to get it dialed in correctly. All right, so now that those are heating up, uh, we're going to give it a couple minutes to start. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and start the Z offset wizard because uh, it will take a second or two to get into position. Uh, so we want to go into our menu, go down to configuration, advanced settings, and then, I'm uh, sorry, probe offsets. Then you'll see Z probe wizard here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit as well so you can see both the screen a little bit and what I'm working with on the printer itself. Now we want to just go ahead and get a sheet of paper uh, so we can use that to set the Z offset. Uh, basically the same as uh, leveling the build plate. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, 0.1 millimeter. You could use one millimeter to start with until you get closer, then back off and then use the 0.1 to dial it in. But I'll just go with this route first. And then right now the current value is plus 14. That's just the default in the firmware. So we're going to start taking that down. Uh, we want to keep going down until we can slide the paper just slightly underneath the nozzle uh, without it actually catching too much. Alright, that feels pretty good right there. So it has the new Z value at 0.8. So now if we close out of this, we can see that it calculated a Z offset of negative 3.2. Right, so that's really all there is to it. Now you want to just go ahead and go down to done, go back up to configuration, and then go down to store settings. All right, now I'm going to kick off a print and then show you how to use the baby stepping just to dial it in. Right, so let me go ahead and do that. Let's go up to main. I think I have Benchy on this SD card. So we're going to print that. 
and I'll start recording again once everything is up to temperature. Right, we're printing here and we're just a tad uh, too high. So I'm just gonna make a small adjustment. So what I'm gonna do is go into tune and go down to baby step Z and then you can make small changes in either direction. So I'm just gonna go uh, by 0.01, I'm oh, sorry, by 0.1 and then save that. I'm just gonna look at the print, make sure that it's where I want it to be. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. So if you don't wanna do this every time and you're pretty sure that that's the value you want, you're going to want to just make a note of it and then just add it to your Z offset. So in this case, I would go ahead and save that. That's going to cover it for this print. But then going forward, next time you start to print, you're going to want to go down to your Z offset and then just change it in this case from negative 3.2 to negative 3.3. Uh, that way it has that value there for next time. And then of course you got to store the setting again. Oh, but that's really all there is to it. That's just a couple things you have to enable in the firmware. And um, I'll show you how to do that after I kind of go over everything with the TFT35 really quick. All right, guys, so this is the TFT35. So if you're running a TFT on one of the SKR mini boards, this is going to be the process you'll use. It's slightly different, and you don't actually have to enable anything but the baby stepping in the firmware. So the Z offset is built into uh, the TFT35. But let's go ahead and clear our Z offset value first. Right, so I'm gonna go into menu, uh, movement, ABL, and then just start the Z offset wizard. I'm gonna zero it out first. I didn't wanna clear uh, my memory because I do have other values set in here, but the principle is the same. Uh, so right now it's negative 2.65. Uh, so we're just gonna turn that on. It's going to center it, and then we'll run through the process just like before where we slide the paper under there and then get down to about where it's paper thickness uh, off of the uh, bill plate and then we'll go to kick off a print. I'm going to zoom out really quick. Alright, so it's ready to go. I'm just going to go ahead and set this back to uh, zero really quick because that'll be where you're starting. You can change uh, the increments by just uh, clicking on this button here and changing between what you want to go to. So I'm just going to go one millimeter increments going up and just set it to uh, 0.65 is fine. Uh, then we're going to want to bring it down uh, same as before. So I'll get the sheet of paper here. And again, you want to make sure everything is heated up first as well. And then once this is in place, we're just going to start lowering it until we get the movement that we're expecting. Oops. And because I had an idea of where it was before, uh, I can just get close to that and then go from there. I'm going to go with negative 2.6 uh, just so it makes me make a little bit of a change when we're using the baby stepping. All right, so now with the TFT35, you can just click here, go to next, next again, and then you can save it from this menu. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now we're going to go ahead and kick off a print really quick and then walk you through uh, making the adjustments with the baby steps. Right, I'm just going to go to print. I have no idea what's in here, but we'll go with it. All right guys, so like I expected, we're a little bit high. So I'm going to just adjust that a tad bit. So if we go in the menu here, you have baby step actually on the main menu. Just go into that and then you can just adjust it up or down. And it will also show you what the new Z offset value is here as well, you can see. Um, Right, 
So I think we're pretty good there at negative 2.69. So I'm just going to save that here. And that print is a mess. So I'm just going to go ahead and start it over because I actually want to finish this print off. But if you have any questions about the process, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. All right, so we're here at the computer. Uh, the changes we want to make are going to be in the configuration advance file. So we want to go ahead and open that. And then we're going to want to search for probe offset wizard. So I'm just going to bring that up, do a search. And then you want to uncomment this line. So this is just the Marlin 2.0 uh, with bug fix. Um, I already made these changes. I just wanted to walk through the changes that I made. All right, so you want to uncomment um, the probe offset wizard. If you don't do this, you're not going to have that in the firmware at all. Um, I also, just as a safety precaution, um, uncomment this line here, which is adding a negative 4 to the starting Z offset. That's why we had the negative 14 when we first kicked off the wizard. And that's really all there is to it for the probe offset. Next, let's search for baby stepping and make sure that's enabled. Uh, by default, I think they enabled it in this round of the firmware, but if you have the SKR Mini, uh, you're going to want to make sure you enable it if you're using their build because it's disabled by default. So this line right here, define baby stepping, needs to be uncommented. And then I also like to uncomment um, baby step display total and Z offset, but that's optional that's not needed for it to work in the demo i just showed you those were not enabled and as you saw everything worked as expected and then once that's done all you have to do is uh, go ahead and kick off the build copy the firmware to the sd card and then put it in the printer uh, i did a video on compiling custom firmware for the skr mini and for the Creality 32-bit boards. I will link to both of those in the description below. That'll go over the actual build process in more detail. All right, guys, so that was the process of using the Z offset wizard and baby stepping to help you set the Z offset correctly. It makes the process much easier, and all you have to do is enable it in the firmware. If you have any questions about the process or run into any issues and need some help, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. And also, if there are any videos you'd like me to create, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll try to get those added to my backlog as well. Thanks.